welcome to Soka Vision. On my right hand side is Tubbs. On my left hand side is Credible. The reason I've got them on the sofa today is to talk about this is Tabanka, the Tabanka Weekender. First of all, who came up with the idea? <laughs> that's, that's like the million dollar question. I don't really think anybody... All right, the idea, this is basically, the precursor to this is Soka Stopover, which you know we had back in the day. And since then, everybody and their uncle and tante or whatever have been trying to put on a Soka Weekender and haven't been able to do it for one reason or another. Um, and basically, this, this chain of events just started from a, a, a revamp of the conversation. Um, spoke to Stephen. Um, it progressed. We took things from there. We spoke to, we brought Dwayne in. He brought in more ideas. And, um, and there's, a, there's a crew of us where you know, we all sat down and thought of ideas. So I mean, it's, it's the three of us at the head of it, but we're not, it's not our idea. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're trying to, we're trying to put an extra spice on, on, on a, an old idea, an old popular idea. So. Trying to keep the wheel moving. That's, yeah. that's all good. Now, tell us a little bit about the weekend though, because what can people expect? Because it's been a few years since Soka Stopover happened, um, but, there's a lot more in this weekend than, than what people would have known from back in the day. So just give us, tell us what, what can people expect? All right, so basically how it went back in the day and this is what we wanted to recreate and obviously add our own ideas is, um, you know, you get your coach trip up there, you know, you go with your squad, get your crew with having fun on the coach, jokes and games and all that kind of stuff, get to the actual place this time it's going to be in Canberra Sands so it used to be in Pontins um, before in Southport we're bringing it to Canberra Sands where we've got a beach there and all that kind of stuff which you can explore and check out but you get there you get to your chalet you can just chill out for a little bit while we start preparing for some of our events so the first thing you get a welcome kind of welcoming meeting where we're gonna have a couple of comedians have a welcoming show just so you get the gist of what's going on for the weekend then we've got our first party. So our first one is Florence Friday. So that's you getting in your fluorescent gear. If you've got any fluorescent paint, you can put it on yourself and all that kind of stuff. Then we go move on to Saturday. So Saturday morning, set's gonna finish at what, six o'clock? So six o'clock in the a.m. Then you're gonna wake up a couple of hours later if you've got the energy for it. We've got soak aerobics, we've got some other kind of aerobics, I can't remember what it is. So we got that happening. Um, and then later on that day, we've also got our show, which is called, what is it called? I can't remember right now. The Carnival Catwalk? No, the Carnival Reload. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, the concert? It. Yeah, that's what oh, I was right, thinking right, about. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we got the uh, concert, Car Carnival Reload. So right there, you've got Lyrical, our main act coming down all the way from USA or Trinidad, wherever he's flying. <laughs> from about. New York, he's originally yeah. from Trinidad, but he represents Brooklyn. Yeah. Lyrical is going to be in the building, that's going to be hefty. Yeah, yeah. And you got the supporting acts as well, so we've got our UK acts as well. You've got Trini Boy Juicy, Mr. Zaya, Scrappy. You've also got this Kanata. man right here, Kanata as well. So, yeah, so yeah, they're going to be doing their thing, and um, yeah, it's going to be one big party because we're expecting you to dress up in your mass. So, Tabanka's all about Tabanka. Feeling that feeling when you're feeling down after carnival and you just want to relive it again and that's what it's all about. So we expect you to be in your massive t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. And then that's going to go all the way through to the next morning. So again, you're going to get a couple of hours sleep, but there's hardly going to be any sleep. And yeah, we're going to be doing our comedy show, our carnival catwalk. And also there's going to be a competition on King and Queen's um, costumes. So, any mass bands out there that want to get involved, they can contact us and just let us know what's happening with that. Um, it's Tabanka Limited, Tabanka Ltd at gmail.com if you want to get in contact. While you kind of sped through everything, we yeah. do have a couple <laughs> of other little bits and pieces like um, we're going to have a beach line. Um, you know, that should be nice vibes. Just basically chill out. Uh, we'll see if we can get speakers out there, but if we can't, it's just going to be a nice lime and, and chill. We're gonna have a pan jam session. We've got Ebony Steelband coming down to jam it out for us. You know? <laughs> that's what we're talking um, about. Yeah, because I think, you know, basically we, we come from the back, we've been in this for a while. Um, I've played steel pan since a little boy, you know what I mean? I've been fitting since a young man. <laughs> and um, 
Yeah, you know, the pan and the, the whole mask culture and everything is, is all a part of my upbringing. So, um, you know, and I know Stephen's been in it a long time as well, you know, running the Rhythm Tribe and, and playing mask for years and Fet Mr. Fett himself. <laughs> Um, so, you know, and of course, Dwayne, Dwayne has been around for, forever as well. He's just sort of always been there, Mr. Behind the Scenes. Um, he's not here today. Hence the reason why he's yeah. not here today. He's like, nah, them behind the interview is all good, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to recap on the whole weekend uh, real, real soon. But for people that are thinking, boy, I don't know if I could take a whole weekend of soccer music. I like it, but boy. You've covered that, haven't you? Yeah, Easy. well, yeah, basically, I think we got we got some, some big hitters from other genres coming to DJ for us, you know, Fat Man and Colonel, um, Satisfaction, Big Business, we got Cinderella as well coming down, and, and there was a few others yeah, in there doing well. their thing, and, you know, two out of the three rooms will be catering to other tastes as well as, you know, like we've got Soka in the main room, which is, is Soka, and then we've got the other room which is basically your upfront, your, you know, your dance hall, whatever you want, whatever else keeps the party bumping, we've got in that room. And then we've got that like, back in times and we're going to cover the rare grooves, um, you know, a bit of revival, Wh whatever you like there, back in old school, if you like old school, you'll like that room. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit of history for you. Satisfaction Sounds, Ian Sweetness is the guy that is my cousin, um, blood relative. When I was 13 years old, it was him and I that used to go dub vendor. We started buying records. We started up a sound system called Sphinx Master Roadshow. Then I got onto a pirate radio station and Ian kept the sound going and he changed the name to Satisfaction and I went down the radio head. So for me to be going on a weekender some 30 years after we did that is gonna be a big one and trust me, his musical collection is proper. So it's gonna be a nice vibe. I think if you've never been on a weekend with us before, we're limers. So everything that you could expect about a lime, we will make it happen. You know, I'm a little bit older than I was when we were doing them back in the day. So my energy levels have dropped. So I ain't planning to be in no party till six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> but I know I'm planning to do a cook up in the chalet. You know what I mean? I get my goat ready, I get my chicken ready, and I know I'm traveling down to Canberra Sands with my big pot. I'm ready to cook up in the chalet and have a lime there, do you know what I mean? And different squads will be planning different things. I remember one year we had a, a whole roti making session going on in one chalet. So there's those kind of things. There's things to keep you fit, there's aerobics, there's a swimming pool there, there's gonna be activities throughout the day. Yeah. And these guys have worked hard, really, really hard, to bring a real quality, versatile weekender to you. So if you haven't booked yet, how can they do that? You can go to thisistobanker.com and um, yeah, we've got different rooms. We've got your bronze, silver and gold rooms. Almost sold out. Gold, yeah, gold, yeah, gold rooms almost, almost sold, out. sold out. Yeah, so. for sure. So definitely have to book that real quick. It starts from 140 if you feel like you don't want to, you know, make a lot of money and all that kind of stuff. We do it in installments, but we're stopping that from the end of this month. So don't you can pay, yeah, exactly. You can pay in two installments. So yeah. Get we're assuming us. everyone knows the date. The date of the weekend is the 18th to the 21st of September. That's correct. A few weeks after Carnival, just when you're thinking, oh man, Carnival was good the whole season, I party hard. <laughs> you could go and do it all over again at This Is Tabanka. 18th to the 21st of September and if you want any more information get in touch with these guys at this is tabanka.com what's the email address tabanka ltd at gmail.com of course we've also got our Facebook Instagram and Twitter pages you can hit us any of us up personally in our um, Facebook accounts or fly the page um, so you know we're available we're, we're available and just to let you know Facebook Twitter accounts they are this is tabanka Guys, thank you very much indeed, man. Good luck. I'm proud of you both. Thanks, I'm looking Thanks, forward to it. I'm looking forward... This is going to sound really selfish. I'm looking forward to not being one of the organisers. <laughs> I'm looking forward to not having to answer everyone's questions. And I'm looking forward to just drinking and partying and liming, which you guys used to do oh. when I was doing all the work. <laughs> and, and laughing. We also have a comedy show. We left that out. We also have a comedy show on the Sunday as well. So we got some top comedians coming down as well. For, so, you know, 
just to mix it up a little bit, we're gonna lime, live, laugh, <laughs> fet. You know what I mean? And we're gonna dress up. I, you know I like the dressing up thing. Mass, <laughs> yeah. So make sure, army fet on the Sunday. Make sure you're there. Yo, thanks for watching Soko Vision. We really hope you enjoyed what you saw. Now, if you want to check us out online, social media, then check us out. I don't know what I'm pointing to, but the man said point down there. And also, if you want to see any of our other videos, then have a look over there. There's nothing over there, but he said point there. So I'll point in. Make sure you keep it locked to Soko Vision because we've got enough good things happening. Keeping the Caribbean culture alive.